Um, ba -ba -ba, Circle of Majoy. Yeah, just summoning the Watch God of the Reaching, which we'll probably be doing if we can, but not until after we've done this. Let's save after that, shall we? And uh, Alistair, you can go first. Very well. Isn't this this is Irving's study, isn't it? Yes, this is Irving's study. This looks like the head enchanter's study, maybe. Yay! I think he's read all those. Yeah, because um yes, because I remember from the uh, b -b 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 what game were we playing? This game as Jenny. Why am I surprised? Why am I confused? Why am I singing? I don't know. Off I go. Small painted box. Small painted box found in first chance at Irving's office. Not sure we should be taking it. Uh, I, I, I'm guess, I guess it's for some kind of quest. But should we be taking it? Hmm. Right. Irving's mistake. Oh dear. We're reading his. We're reading his diary. I followed another apprentice through supposed secret maneuvers today, and exposed her tendency towards blood magic. The environment of the tower is such that certain modes of thought are encouraged, both for good and ill. The students think we toy with them. The truth is far more intricate and directed. Deviant traits must be exposed early, or the whole of the circle suffers. Aldred has been very helpful in identifying the markers to look for. His skills at misdirection are admirable. I dare say that the apprentices would be shocked at his ability to manipul manipulate them. I must organise a retreat such that the other enchanters can benefit from his skills. Oh dear. Oh dear. But yeah, I think the uh, b -b -b this painted box is. I think it's a quest, but I'm not sure I'll do it. Come on, Geharis, you can pick locks. We got a rune, an apprentice cowl. I think uh, Geharis is going to try it on because he, he's feeling very left out because he can't wear the helmet we have, so he's not feeling that left out. It looks like a right numpty wear in that. Irving's chest. <gasps> Health poultice. Ooh, heavy grimoire bound in black leather. Morrigan would want to take a look at this, so we'll, we'll grab that. If, if that's what she wants. We will not... Actually, how much is it worth? The greater elixir of bounding. How much is it? Ooh, it's over a gold. We will take that, but we might not end up keeping it. Um, should we take the painted box? Right, why would Gaheris take the painted box? I mean, yes, we're rummaging through things, but Gaheris wouldn't take it. I think it's a side quest, but... Shrug. The Fraternity of Enchanters. But I, I don't know what it's... Well, he doesn't know what it's for. I think it's for some kind of side quest. Another aspect of circle life is the fraternity. When a mage becomes an enchanter, he may ally himself with a fraternity. These are cliques that cross circle boundaries. Mages of common interest and golds who band themselves together to ensure that their voice is heard within the College of Magi in Cumberland. The largest fraternity... <laughs> so they're unions. <laughs> they're unions. The largest fraternities currently are... The Loyalists, who advocate loyalty and obedience to the Chantry. The Aquitarians, who advocate temperance and follow a distinct code of conduct which they believe all mages should hold themselves to. The Libertarians, a growing fraternity, publicly maintaining gr greater power for the circles, but secretly ad advocating a complete split from the Chantry. A dangerous opinion, naturally. The Isolationists, a small group that advocates withdrawing to remote territories in order to avoid conflicts with the general populace. And the Lucrosians, who maintain that the circle must do what is profitable first and foremost. They prioritise the accum accumulation of wealth, with the gaining of political influence a close second. So far, an alliance between the Loyalists and the Aquitarians have pre prevented the Libertarians from gaining much headway, but there are signs that the Aquitarians may throw their support in with the Libertarians. If that happens, many majors predict it will come to civil war among the circle. Oh dear. That does not sound good. I don't say. Fortunately, none of us are, are mages of the circle. Oh wait, win. Oops. <laughs> right. So we go up another level. 
I think we've got some way to go before that part of the game. Um, it did annoy me last time. Yeah. Right, so we can't go that way. That way's blocked off. Chest. Let's see what's in here. It shall be done. That's a lyric potion. We did use. I think, I think we may have only used the one this time. That's back down. As you say. I'm scared of what's through here. There are charred corpses, which I'm sure will come back to life. I mean, they definitely won't come back to life whatsoever. That's never happened before. Ah, the statues. I can't for the life of me remember what that's for. <gasps> oh, I think that's for the Watch God of the Reaching, isn't it? Right, Alistair, you go first. I think it's a trap. Scrolls of Bannistor. Right, that still made me jump. You attack. Uh, you attack that one. You attack that one. You shoot. You shoot that one. You shoot that one. Maybe we can... Right. These guys are being dealt with, wonderfully. Still this. Right, okay, so it's like, aha, we've won, we've won, we've won. No, you haven't. The game is lying to you. So let's have an earthquake over there. Hopefully they'll stumble around a bit, completely confused and befuddled. Arcane horror, that does not look good. Give him an arcane bolt for his trouble. You you could take him on because he resisted the stuff. Chain lightning does not sound good. Right. Oh no, I've not given him any tip fun Templar abilities, have I? Me silly. Me being very silly, it seems. Stone Fist. Yes, try and get rid of him as best we can. You go and attack him. You go over there. The fact it's called Walking Bomb, I'm guessing he's about to explode, so. And now everyone's dead. Come on, Alistair! You can you can take him on. Or not. Or not. Shut up about poultices and grumble. Right. Uh, we pick the chip. I feel like I'm being watched. Yes, that's the demons, Liliana. It's the demons. Alright, take that. Right, so we're going to go in here and get swamped again, are we? I believe we shall. No, Alistair, Alistair first, Alistair first. I think we want to go here. Now the reason we're going here is because that means we're close to the arcane horror when he comes in. He'll be coming through the door when he comes. Yeehaw. I believe that's how the song goes. Um, no, I don't know what I want about either. Uh, right. Liliana, I told you to attack that guy for a reason. It's called wanting you to attack that guy. Alistair, no. Uh, no, I want you over here. Right, so we're in a slightly better position, and I'm sad that that didn't pause. Win, once again, Earthquake over here. Try and get these three guys. 
so that they don't make it. There's something else in there. I can't see it though. House that charge the arcane horror. All right, you two try and get rid of this guy quickly. That did not look nice, whatever it was. Arcane horror is doing things. <laughs> oh dear. We might need a group heal. Now. Now would be nice. Uh, why are you not attacking? <coughs> Sorry. Right. Garrus, go and take that guy on. I don't want to keep working on him. Right, you're healing. I thought I told you to take the Arcane Horror. Yes, that's what you get when you don't listen to me, Alistair. You get frozen. Why, why, why? Win? Why can't I heal? Why can't you heal? Right. Oh, and you're frozen. Bye, Alistair. The game's... Like, why is this coloured if I can't click on it? I mean, I can... I just can't heal. Am I, am I within the cooldown? Yes. Would have been nice if you told me that. Right, use one of those, please. Please kill him. Yeah, so we're clearing that on our way. We need to be aware of what's going on in here, don't we? Right, so everyone's kind of focused up here. Leona, you attack him, you attack him. No, you attack the one behind Alistair. Okay, they're all now behind Alistair. This is not filling me with confidence. Come on, we need to be ready with group heal, because I'm sure we'll need it. Right. So I got this arcane horror. I think it's the major threat. There we go. Get bring Win back up just in case we need him. Codex updated. Probably arcane horrors are horrible things and they can kill you very easily. But I'm paraphrasing. Right. Can we loot now? I can has loot. I can has loot. Uh, once I've read the codex, which was creatures, arcane horror. Upon descending to the second floor of the tower, we were greeted by a gruesome sight. A ragged collection of bones wearing the robes of one of the senior enchanters. I had known her for years, watched her raise countless apprentices, and now she was a mere puppet for some demon. Transcribed from a tale told by a Templar in Antiva City, 713 Storm. Demons, of course, have no form in, the, in our world. When they enter, either where the veil is particularly thin or through blood magic summoning, they must take possession of a body. When a pride demon takes control of the corpse of a mage, an arcane horror is born. Although they appear to be little more than bones, these are fierce creatures, possessing not only all the spell-casting abilities of a living mage, but also the capacity to heal and even command other animated corpses, as he did the horrible person. The horrible dead thing, admittedly. Right, so let's pick up the scroll of Banastor. Right, um, I think that's the one we read, wasn't it? To align with the power of the fairies, but the first one, yeah. Others may speak of the sanctity of the mind. To those who know the true power of the blood, this is foolishness. The mind is no more sacred than the knee, the small toe, or the ear. It is man's organ of reason, nothing more. True and true reasoning requires connection to the rhythm of the blood, the tireless pounding of life. Interrupt this, and even the mind is yours to control. 
Below the text is a diagram of a blood magic ritual in progress with no notation or description. Yay, corpse call. That's for the quest in uh, the, the Red Cliff. I shall do it. And how much do we need for that? It was the Chanter's board, wasn't it? Skin deep. Nine samples of corpse call to Chanter's board. 18 to receive an additional payment. We might be getting the 18. <laughs> How many dead bodies there are? Well, maybe not, actually. It shall be done. There's another one. How much do we have, actually? Corpse call. Plot items. We have nine. So we have just enough for... Statue, statue, statue. Yeah, I think that's the watch called reaching... I might be incorrect, actually. Tricked into a partial ritual. Curiosity unchecked became greed for this unfortunate apprentice. Yes, watch God of the Reaching. So where was it? Whisper says Great Hall, hidden above us the whole time. The vessel in hand, words from another time drip literal power, put on bowl. A sword raised, sever connection, cord cut. A sword lowered to strike through and ground. Bile. The threads placed before a warrior, spear raised, shielded from each side, so whispers are known false. Where is this? It whispered order, but not where. It's in my head. So, these are the people. These are the statues that we need to do. Um, um, I, think, I think we might do this. I don't know if we can do this later. But I think I don't think we'll do it now. I think we'll wait and see. Just due to uh, the problem of uh, ellipses. Yes. Well, we're de dealing with the demons. So that's the priority, not uh, whatever this mad ritual is. So. Yeah. Saving the game. Just in case something jumps out. Lyrian potion. Always nice. Charred corpse. More mana potions. Another apprentice cow. But yeah, I mean... Ready. Anyone... Liliana might level up. Um, you were going to say something, Brain. Oh yes, it makes sense that you're going to have the Lyrian potions and the apprentice cows. And like, the Lyrian potions on the bodies, because... They've come with the goal of... Uh, uh, trying to deal with people, it's going to be the mages.